Okay. So um, if the equilibrium constant is 0.123, calculate the concentration of ammonia. If the concentration of nitrogen is 0.058 molar, and the concentration of hydrogen is 1.24 molar. Okay, so first you need to know how to figure out what the equilibrium constant is. So, and in this part, in this problem, you would have done that in part A anyways, right? So, KEQ equals the concentration of ammonia squared over concentration of nitrogen times the concentration of hydrogen cubed. Okay. So it gives you uh, these values for KEQ, um, H2, and N2, and it asks you to figure out what NH3 is, right? So what you need to do is isolate that variable NH3, okay, the concentration of ammonia. So in order to do that, you're going to put everything else onto the other side of the equation. Okay, so you're going to take both sides of this equation, multiply them by concentration of N2, that'll cancel N2 out there, then you'll multiply it by H2 cubed, concentration of H2 cubed, and that'll cancel it there. And then, like and then, well, we'll write, let's write what we got now. So we've got concentration of NH3 squared equals the concentration of H2 cubed times the concentration of N2 times the KB cubed. So in order to get rid of a square, you take the square root of both sides, right? So we take the square root here, that cancels with that, and we take the square root there. Okay? So our new equation is this. The concentration of ammonia equals the square root of H2 squared cubed uh, times N2 times KB cubed. We'll just plug this in. So. H2 cubed, 1.24 cubed times N2, 0 0.508 times K cubed, 0.123. And then do it on your calculator. Something, it's the molar concentration. 